Even though modern air travel can make the world seem pretty small, it's an enormous place. There are still plenty of truly mysterious places left on this planet that people are strictly forbidden from visiting. And you better believe some weird stuff goes down there at times. From the creepiest hotel of all time to Google's terrifying fortress of world domination, here's 20 places you're not allowed to visit. Number 20. Skeleton Hotel The Gavea Tourist Hotel, commonly known as the Skeleton Hotel locally, is situated in Rio de Janeiro's hills between Gavea and So Conrado. This hotel is ruinous and unfinished and it's almost hidden in the jungle between mountains. Humans are banned from visiting this place. Here's why. It was abandoned and never finished. The luxurious hotel complex known as the Gavea Tourist Hotel was built in 1953. The enviable site provided homeowners with a unique view of the mountains and the So Conrado Sea. It was intended to become the city's most opulent building. Work started in the 1960s and was delayed by the economy multiple times until the firm filed for bankruptcy in 72 as a result of real estate investment scandal. The task was then handed over to an American business, which likely Likewise filed for bankruptcy in 1977. For more than 40 years, the incomplete structure has been left in the center of the forest, which has totally taken over the area. Although it hasn't been used much, especially in the beginning of construction, the hotel has since been used several times. For instance, they celebrated New Year's Eve on the rooftop terrace in 1965. Additionally, there was a cable car system that's been stolen. The hotel and the surrounding region were ultimately sold in 2011, and a renovation project was envisioned to convert it into a hotel for the 2004 World Cup. Didn't work out, the building is still utilized unofficially today despite the fact that the project was never resumed. Nonetheless, access to the structure is strictly prohibited without a permit from authorities. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Google Data Center. The large data center facilities known as Google Data Centers are used by the company to host its services. There's no publicly available information on how many servers are housed in Google Data Centers, but according to a July 2016 analysis from Gartner, Google had 2.5 million servers. This figure constantly changes as the firm develops capacity and upgrades its gear. Approximately 80 miles south of Portland in the Oregon town of the Dales on the Columbia River is one of the biggest Google Data Centers. The $6 million facility code named Project 2 was constructed in 2006 and is about the size of two American football fields. It has cooling towers that are four floors tall. The location was selected to take use of the region's abundant supply of fiber optic cable, a holdover from the dot-com boom, as well as the reasonably priced hydroelectric electricity available there. However, these sites are very secretive and have led to many theories about what kind of world domination plans Google is cooking up in there. What's their secret? Let us know what you think. Number 18. The Coca-Cola Vault The Coca-Cola Company's top secret recipe has spent the majority of the last 86 years hidden away in a vault. However, if you visit a permanent display at the World of Coca-Cola in Atlanta, you can now get closer than ever to the magic ingredients of this tasty but extremely unhealthy beverage. Oh, and it's not cocaine. They stopped putting that in Coca-Cola ages ago. Despite the beverage's widespread recognition, the formula is one of America's best-kept secrets. With a hand scanner, armed guards, and a combination, all attempts to steal this recipe from behind a complex vault are doomed to fail. The exhibit The Vault of the Street Formula provides insight into the intrigue around Coca-Cola's tightly guarded trade secret, even if the actual secret formula is set to remain a mystery to the majority of the world. Coke enthusiasts can test their knowledge in the exhibit's myths and legends area, and they can use their cell phones to learn more about the formula's secrets. Number 17. The Situation Room the Situation Room, also known as the John F. Kennedy Conference Room, is a conference room and intelligent management hub that occupies 5,525 square feet in the West Wing's basement of the White House. It's managed by the National Security Council staff and is available to the President of the United States and his advisors, including the National Security Advisor, the Homeland Security Advisor, and the Chief of Staff of the White House, for use in keeping track and responding to domestic and international crises, as well as conducting secure communication 
communications with external, often foreign, parties. The president can retain command and control of American troops wherever on the planet because of the Situation Room's superior secure connections technology. The Situation Room crew is divided into five watch teams that keep tabs on both local and global news. Three duty officers, a communications assistant, and an intelligence analysis make up each watch team. However, team size and makeup may change based on workload and required shifts. The teams are manned from a pool of about 30 senior members of the military and employees from different intelligence organizations. These members are completely apolitical and were chosen by hand from nominations that had been rigorously reviewed by their parent organizations. They keep top White House officials informed of key occurrences and maintain watch around the clock, continually watching international events. Currently, it's where Joe Biden deals with the messes left behind by Trump domestic and international. Number 16. Club 33 Disney Disneyland's premium and exclusive Club 33 is a location for excellent cuisine and dapper entertainment. Since its grand inauguration in 1967, only select members have been permitted to partake in its opulent festivities. Since the beginning of Disney Parks, Walt had an idea for a high-end dining establishment. This notion went beyond fast food consumed at picnic tables or on park benches while visiting attractions. That was just for the riffraff, the average Joe. The club was built as a place to go for a classy dinner on an elaborate walnut table, away from the usual park throng. Want to know more about this special Disney club? What's going on with Club 33 in Disneyland? The club can only be identified by its hidden door entry. It has a number 33 etched address plate. Because Club 33 is not well known, it could be challenging for casual Disney fans to identify. Walt Disney created it so that dignitaries and famous people may visit the theme park without having to wait in the enormous lines, be put on a lengthy waiting list, or dine at regular restaurants. If you want to attend the Elite Club 33 at Disneyland, but can't receive a reservation or an invite from an existing member, you may need to join yourself. Keep in mind that Club 33 is exceedingly restrictive, and that membership invites are not distributed very often. Number 15. Cheyenne Mountain Complex, U.S. The Cheyenne Mountain Complex is a Space Force complex and defensive bunker situated at the Cheyenne Mountain Space Force Station. Through its global early warning system, the complex, previously the hub for the United States Space Command and NORAD, monitor the airspace of Canada and the U.S. for missiles, space systems, and foreign aircraft. Since 2008, Peterson Space Force Base has served as the headquarters for NORAD and the United States Space Command. The facility is being reclassified as an Air Force station and is now utilized for crew training and in case of an emergency as a backup command center. The bunker is built to deflect a 30 megaton nuclear explosion as close as two kilometers. There are two sets of 25-ton blast doors and one for civil engineering division with a mountain tunnel. The doors were constructed to always be able to be opened when necessary. They're designed to resist a blast wave in the event of a nuclear explosion that hits the structure. For the purpose of removing airborne chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear contaminants, a network of blast valves with special filters has been installed. The complex includes its own water supply, water plant, and heating and cooling system. The electricity, water, Water, air conditioning, and other support systems are all 99.999% reliable, according to the 21st Mission Support Group. Number 14. Dulce Base, USA Conspiracy theorists claim that the hamlet of Dulce, New Mexico, on the border between Colorado and New Mexico, are all part of a subterranean complex known as Dulce Base, which is inhabited by both humans and extraterrestrials. The earliest reports of alien activity were made there by businessman Paul Benowitz from Albuquerque. Around 1979, Benowitz began to think he was gathering electrical transmissions from alien ships and facilities. He believed he'd discovered a secret underground base in Dulce in the 1980s that housed both gray aliens and humans. By 1983, news reports started to include Benowitz's accusations. The encounter immediately gained notoriety among the UFO community, and in 1987, UFOologist John Lear was claiming to have had an independent confirmation of the base's existence. According to an article titled UFO Base Found in New Mexico that appeared in the tabloid Weekly World News in 1988, diabolical invaders from another solar system. 
have set up a secret underground base in the rugged mountains of northern New Mexico so they can shanghai human guinea pigs for bizarre genetic experiments. The Dulce Mythos is well outside even the most far-fetched reports of secret underground bases, according to experts, because of claims of testing abductees and battles between aliens and the Delta Force. Number 13. Bohemian Grove If you aren't a club member, you can't enter. A private gentleman's club called the Bohemian Club is situated on a gated 2,700-acre campground near Monterio, California. Each July, Bohemian Grove hosts a two-week retreat for some of the most powerful men in the world. Members of the Bohemian Club include presidents, senior government officials, celebrities, artists, and business leaders. The sole restriction here is that no business is mentioned. Everything else is top secret. Anyhow, most folks wouldn't want to be a part of this freaky group. Some people report that these dudes do a lot of weird stuff. Satanic rituals or overgrown frat parties. Uh, either way, it's pretty crazy, I guess. Number 12. The Queen's Bedroom, UK. So, in 1982, this guy named Michael Fagan broke into Queen Elizabeth II's bedroom at Buckingham Palace. At the time, Michael lived in Kilburn, an Irish neighborhood in North London. The Queen would be spending the weekend at Buckingham Palace, and it was reported when he was watching TV in his neighborhood Irish pub on a Friday night. The brave Michael bet several lads at the bar five pounds that he could break into the Queen's bedroom that evening. Michael then scaled the 20-foot wall that was in front of the palace. For the first time in the 800-year history of the English royal family, a man charged headlong into the palace while going completely undiscovered, constituting the most significant security lapse in its history. He scaled a drain pipe and came out onto a bedroom balcony. The palace has around 200 bedrooms according to the royal family's website, but Michael got it right on his first try. When he arrived, the queen was dozing. He sat down on her bed. Is that you, Philip? She said as she awoke. He said, No, it's me, Michael. She was afraid and believed that he was about to murder her. He could tell that she was afraid. He explained, Sister, take it easy. You don't have to be concerned. I'm Irish. I'm definitely dead now, the Queen must have thought. At this time, hostilities between the British and the IRA were at their highest. She said, What do you want from me? He said, All I want is a kiss. But instead of a kiss, Michael received a two-year jail sentence. Due to his exemplary conduct, he was freed early after just a few months. But while he was incarcerated, it's said that the Queen sent him a few letters. I bet she regretted not getting that kiss after all. Number 11. The Dome of the Rock, Jerusalem The Caliph Abd al-Malik ibn Marwan constructed the Dome of Rock between AD 685 and 691. Although not as a mosque for general piety, but rather a mashat, a pilgrimage site. It's perhaps the earliest colossal structure in Islamic history and is significant both aesthetically and architecturally. It's rich in marble and mosaic, but most of that was added several centuries after it was built. The Dome of the Rock is essentially octagonal and is more characteristically Roman or Byzantine than Islamic. In the European Middle Ages, both Christians and Muslims thought the dome was the Temple of Solomon. During the Crusades, the Knights Templar were stationed there, and Templar churches around Europe adopted this strategy. The Temple Mount's Golden Top Sanctuary is a well-known feature in the skyline of Jerusalem, yet it's governed by a number of strict restrictions. Visitors who are not Muslims are not allowed to visit the monument. However, during non-Muslim open hours, they are welcome to see it from the Temple Mount. Number 10. UN Buffer Zone, Cyprus the United Nations buffer zone in Cyprus is a demilitarized area that's patrolled by the United Nations Peacekeeping Force in Cyprus. It was established in 1964 and expanded in 1974 following the ceasefire that followed the Turkish invasion of Cyprus and the de facto division of the island in the region controlled by the Republic of Cyprus. Nicosia is still the only capital in Europe that's still divided after the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. A total of 10,000 people reside in the zone's villages and work on farms. Pyla is well known for being one of the few places in Cyprus where Greek and Turkish Cypriots still coexist side by side. Greek Cypriots were able to pass at the Ledra Palace Crossing, which is located just outside the walls of ancient Nicosia. In April 2003, after almost 30 years of crossing being prohibited by the Turkish Cypriot Authority, 
Greek Cypriots marched in protest of Turkey's takeover of Cyprus on August 11, 1996. The complete withdrawal of Turkish troops and the return of Cypriot refugees to their homes and possessions were the demands of the protesters. Number 9. The Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion, Ethiopia An Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo Church, also called the Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion, is said to hold the Ark of the Covenant. The church is situated close to the grounds of the obelisks of Aksum, in the northern Ethiopian town of Aksum in the Tigray region. The original church is thought to have been erected in the 4th century AD during the reign of Enzana, the first Christian king of the kingdom of Aksum, current-day Eritrea and Ethiopia, and it's since been rebuilt several times. Today, the site features the old church reconstructed in the 16th century, the new cathedral erected by the Emperor Hale Cecily in the 1950s, as well as a chapel that's supposed to hold the Ark of the Covenant. The allocated guardian abbot chosen by the predecessor is the sole person with access to the Ark. The church was established in the 4th century, and the grounds hold the bones of an Ethiopian emperor. So, one day the rest of the world might get to see the secrets kept behind those walls. Maybe the monk will someday write a published tell-all book. Number 8. Moscow Metro 2 With its hidden tunnels and phantom trains, unless you've heard of the Moscow Metro 2, you'd probably think it's the plot of a thriller film. According to reports, the KGB built this 600-foot underground system in case of a nuclear conflict. These lines link the airport, the Secret Service headquarters, and important public buildings. Due to it being built during the beginning of Stalin's rule, no one really knows what it looks like. According to reports, Metro 2 has four lines that are 160 to 660 feet deep. An entry to this subterranean network was allegedly discovered in 1994, according to the head of an urban research team, Diggers in the Underground Planet. The facility was also mentioned in a 1992 issue of Time magazine. In its story, a person identified as a KGB officer claimed to have been involved in the building of a subterranean facility in Romenki. Construction allegedly started in the middle of the 1960s and ended in the 1970s. The journalist referred to the location as the Underground City, which was allegedly built to house 15,000 people for 30 years in the event that Moscow was attacked by nuclear weapons. Number 7. Royal Air Force Menwith Hill the Royal Air Force Station Menwith Hill, which is close to Harrogate and North Yorkshire, England, offers communications and intelligence support services to both the UK and the US. The location is a communications intercept and missile warning facility with a sizable satellite ground station. It's been called the world's biggest electronic monitoring station. The Royal Air Force's base was once used for intelligence collection and espionage during the Cold War, albeit no one's certain of its present use. The only people who utilize the 550-acre location on Menwith Hill are Echelon and NSA personnel. This institution has driven conspiracy theorists insane since it was founded in 1951. What's going on behind the barbed wire fences and what seem to be Epcot-style bubbles strewn all over the property are still a mystery. Many conspiracy theorists seem to think it's the location where the government employs its technologies to spy on private communications and online activity. Number 6. Diego Garcia, Indian Ocean A contested British foreign territory, Diego Garcia is an island in the British Indian Ocean territory. The biggest of 60 tiny islands that make up the Chagos Archipelago. It's a militarized atoll in the middle of the Indian Ocean, just south of the equator. The first Europeans to discover it were the Portuguese, who established it in the 1790s before handing it up to the British following the Napoleonic Wars. Up until the Chagos Islands were removed and added to the newly formed British Indian Ocean Territory in 1965, it was one of the dependencies of the British colony of Mauritius. Although it originally belonged to the UK, Diego Garcia was utilized to pay off a $14 million debt with the USA. The remote island has been transformed into a US military station, and only members of the military are allowed access. There are reportedly 654 buildings and 4,000 service personnel working on the little island. No one's been able to corroborate the widespread suspicion that it's being utilized for a covert military imprisonment. Few people are aware that this was the place where flights to Afghanistan and Iraq left from during those conflicts. Number 5. Vatican Archives, Italy 
The Vatican's secret archives, also known as the Vatican Apostolic Archives, is the major repository in Vatican City that holds all Holy See activities. As sovereign of Vatican City, the Pope retains possession of the archives until his death or resignation, at which point it passes to his heir apparent. The Vatican's secret archives house a range of things gathered by the Church throughout the years, including official papers, letters, account books, and more. The secret archive was removed from the Vatican Library in the 17th century on Pope Paul V's instructions. Because of this, researchers had very limited access to the archive's documents and it remained restricted to visitors. However, Pope Leo XIII permitted access to the collection for students in the late 1800s, and each year, hundreds of experts still review a portion of the repository's records. While some of the secrets have already come to light, how many more are hidden under this massive cavern of corruption and authority? Only time will tell. Number 4. Svalbard Global Seed Vault One of the most important things for survivors to undertake after a societal breakdown caused by a major event like a meteor strike is to begin restoring crops. If all the vegetation died, however, this might be impossible. That's why Norway built the Svalbard Global Seed Vault on a remote island in the Arctic. There's several copies of seeds saved here that are also kept in other gene banks across the globe. As an added bonus, the building looks super cool, and it was partially funded by Bill Gates, so you know it's legit. It's comforting to know that Billy Billy made plans for life after the end of the world. Since its inception in 2008, the vault has amassed around 400,000 unique seed varieties, each with 500 copies, providing enough opportunity to repopulate the world's flora and fauna after a global catastrophe. Number 3. White's Gentleman Club UK if you're a fan of The Crown on Netflix, you may recognize this spot from an episode. White's Gentlemen's Club is an exclusive membership club for the elite of society. What was once a chocolate shop is now a men-only gambling club. The club has become the most exclusive in the world, with members having access to information that the general public will never learn. You need to have gone to Eton and then either Oxford or Cambridge, and even then you may not get in. In addition, the membership fees are a whopping $112,000 every year. In 1693, an Italian immigrant named Francesco Blanco opened the club at 4 Chesterfield Street, off Corazon Street in Mayfair, under the name Mrs. White's Chocolate House. As an additional revenue stream, ticket sales for shows at the King's Theatre and Royal Drury Lane Theatre were organized. After starting off as a tea house, White's evolved into a posh nightclub rapidly enough that Prince Charles had his stag night there before his 1981 wedding to Lady Diana. The club made room for his firstborn son, Prince William, soon after he was born. And if those guys are members, you know some shady stuff is going down. Number 2. Korean Demilitarized Zone not that anyone wants to travel there, but the Korean demilitarized zone is off-limits to tourists. The strip of land between North and South Korea is used as a meeting place for the two administrations. Armed paramilitary patrols keep the no-man's land safe. It's one of the most extensively mined borders in the world, and barbed wire is everywhere. Many multi-story buildings and flats with electric lighting can be found in Kijongdong, which is located in the northern portion of the area. For farmers in rural Korea in the 1950s, whether in the north or south, these amenities were unheard of. The village was laid up such that when seen from the border, the most striking elements would be the vivid blue roofs and the white sides of the houses. However, it's been claimed on the basis of modern telescope lenses that the buildings are merely concrete shells without window glass or even interior rooms. With the lights turned on and off at set times and the empty sidewalks swept by a skeleton crew of caretakers to maintain the illusion of activity. Number 1. Woomera Test Range, Australia if Portugal were to be dropped within Australia's Woomera test range, it'd still have enough room to wiggle around in comfort. This is one massive test range. No one's permitted to enter since the massive area is used to test bombs and missiles. Who among us would like to spend our holiday at a nuclear weapons testing facility? Well, I think I'd prefer a nice beach. It's 
It's probably not a place you'd like to visit since a vacation there wouldn't be very enjoyable with all the missiles landing around you day and night. We think they must be experimenting with a top secret weapon, but only authorized employees are allowed to know about it, so I guess we'll just have to keep guessing. The WPA is littered with signs around the range and on public access roads, advising visitors not to stray from established pathways without first obtaining clearance from the Department of Defense. And if they don't, then hopefully the last thing they ever want to hear is a big boom. Which of these amazing places would you like to visit the most? Have you ever been thrown out of somewhere you weren't supposed to be? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.